Hello everyone, this is Slidehand for you. Slidehand provides free video tutorials on C, C++ and data structures. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my YouTube channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slidehand. Ok, let's back to our topic. In this lesson, we will learn implementation of stacks. In our previous lesson, we introduce you stack data structures. There we learn stack as ADT or abstract data types. Stack ADT means we just discuss the features or operations that are available with stack. We do not implement them. Now in this lesson, we will learn how to implement stack data structures. Here first we discuss the possible operations that are available with stack and then we write some code. So let's start. We know a stack is a linear list of elements in which an element may be inserted or deleted only one end called top of the stack. This means elements are removed from the stack in the reverse order in which they are inserted into the stack. Two basic operations that are associated with stacks are push and pop. When we insert an element into the stack, it's called push operation. And when we delete an element from a stack, it's called pop operation. We can implement stack in two ways. First one is array based and second one is linked list. Here we will learn array based implementation. So how do we do here? First I am going to create an integer array of four elements and the name of the array is stack. Now I am going to use this array to store a stack. To perform stack operations we need a pointer variable it's called top that points to the location of the top element. Initially when stack is empty top equal to minus one. We need another variable called max size which gives the maximum number of elements that can be held by the stack. In this case max size equal to 4. Now I am going to write the algorithm for push operation. Before inserting an item to the stack, first we need to check whether there is any space in the stack for new item. For that I am going to write here if top equal to max size minus 1. Since we start from 0, that's why the last location will be max size minus 1. If top equal to max size minus 1 means there is no space and this condition is called stack overflow. We print stack overflow and return from this function. Else we increment top by 1 and then we insert the item at top position that is stack top equal to item and then if is ended here. Let's see how the algorithm is executed. I am going to push the item to. First it check this condition if top equal to equal to max size minus 1. Now top equal to minus 1. So this condition is false. So we increment top by 1. Now top is at index 0. We put 2 at index 0. Next we push 5. First we increment top by 1. Now we push 5 at index 1. Similarly we push 3 and 4. After inserting the item 4, top is at index 3. Now I am going to push 7. First it check this condition. If top equal to max size minus 1, yes it is true. So it print overflow and return from this function. Next we write the algorithm for pop operation. To pop an element from stack, first we need to check whether there is an element in the stack to be deleted. For that, I am going to write here if top equal to minus 1. If top equal to minus 1, that means there is no element in the stack. And this condition is called stack underflow. We print stack underflow and return from this function. Else we assign top element to item. That is item equal to stack top. Then we decrement top by 1 and return from this function. Let's see how this algorithm is work. When we call a pop function, first it check this condition. If top equal to minus 1, top is at index 1, so this condition is false. We delete 5 from here and then decrement top by 1. 
now top is at index 0 I am going to pop another element delete 2 from index 0 and then decrement top by 1 one thing I must say here when we pop an element we no need to pass any element as argument because pop function always remove the top element from the stack now top equal to minus 1 if we want to delete another element it show you stack under flow ok next we write a program for push and pop operation in C so let's move to the coding section here we write a code that will show you how to insert and delete an element from stack so the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to create an array of integers as global variable and the size of the array is max size where max size is defined by this macro definition and we set its value as 4 next I am going to declare another global variable in top which is initially assigned to minus 1 top equal to minus 1 indicates stack is empty the variables that are defined outside any functions are called global variables the advantage of using global variables are we can use them in any function we no need to pass them as arguments next I am going to define the push function void push and it takes one integer type parameter int item first we need to check the overflow condition if top equal to equal to max size minus 1 if top equal to higher index then we print overflow and return from this function here we use max size minus 1 because here we implement stack using array and we know array index start from 0 so the last index will be maximum size minus 1 that's why we use here max size minus 1 else we increment top by 1 and then push item to the top position that is stack top equal to item then printf percent d is pushed onto the stack new line and here we refer item push function is completed next we write the pop function void pop when we pop an element from stack we store that value to a variable for that I am going to declare an integer type variable int item next we check the underflow condition if top equal to equal to minus 1 if top equal to minus 1 then we print underflow and return from this function else we pop the top element and store to the variable item item equal to stack top next we decrement top by 1 that is top minus minus then I am going to write here printf percent d is popped from the stack and here we refer item and then return from this function one thing I must say here this statement is not mandatory because pop function is ended here when a function is ended control automatically returns to the function from where it was called so if you want you can omit this statement next we will write another function that display the items or elements that are present onto the stack void so int i here we use a for loop for i equal to top i getter equal to 0 and then i minus minus inside this loop I am going to write here printf percent d and here we refer stack of i and then a new line printf backslash n next we write the main function inside the main function first I am going to declare variables int x and ch we need a character type variable char option next I am going to write here printf new line press 1 for push I am going to copy it and paste here press 2 for pop and then press 3 for show then printf 
enter your choice to read the user choice we use here scanf function scanf percent d and here we refer ampersand ch here we have many options and we need to choose one of them so we use here switch statement switch within parenthesis write ch in case one we perform push operation I am going to ask user to enter item printf enter item to read the user input I am going to use here scanf function scanf percent d and here we refer ampersand x now we call the push function push and here we pass x as argument and then break in case 2 we perform pop operation pop and then break in case 3 we call the show function show and then break if no match is found then it will execute default printf wrong input and the new line the next thing is if you want you can continue this program for that I'm going to write here printf do you want to continue yes or no then I'm going to write here option equal to get che here this function get che reads the character that the user enter and at the same time print that character to the screen next we use here a do while loop I'm going to write here do starting braces and here closing braces then I'm going to write here the condition while option equal to equal to y or option not equal to n this means when you press any character except n control will go here and execute this statement again ok our program is completed let us run the program compile and run enter your choice I want to perform pop operation so I am going to enter 2 press enter and it prints stack under flow because initially stack is empty there is no element in the stack so pop is not possible that's why it prints stack under flow then it asks you do you want to continue yes or no I want to continue so press Y enter your choice I want to push an element to the stack so I am going to press 1 enter item I am going to enter 12 press enter button and it show you 12 is pushed onto the stack I am going to press again Y enter your choice I am going to press 1 enter item I am going to enter 25 25 is pushed onto the stack similarly I am going to push two more elements I am going to enter 34 yes 1 enter item I am going to enter 56 yes now I want to display the stack so I am going to press 3 hit enter button and it show you the stack it contains 4 elements first inserted item is 12 and last inserted item is 56 now I am going to push another element and it prints stack overflow because the maximum size of stack is 4 and the stack already contains 4 elements so no more elements cannot be pushed onto the stack that's why it prints stack overflow next I am going to pop an element enter your choice I am going to press 2 and it show you 56 is popped from the stack I am going to press 3 you can see here 56 was the top element so 56 is removed from the stack and after removing 56 this is the stack now 34 is the top element I am going to press N and hit enter button and exit from the program this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button on YouTube thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos these are some other videos of our channel to watch this video just click on it Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slide hunt. 
join us on Facebook at facebook.com/slidehan. Follow us on Twitter and Google Plus.